Hey guys, just wanted to share with you how to use 640 Studios 840 Premiere Pro Transitions Pack. You're gonna start by going to 640studio.com where you can check to see if we have any promo codes up top. If we do, go ahead and copy that. We're gonna use it later. Go ahead and scroll down. You're gonna click Add to Cart. Then check out. Once you get here, you're going to enter your contact information and billing address. Make sure you enter the correct email address. We will send a backup link to your download files. Then continue to payment method. Here, this is where we'll enter the discount code if you have one. Once that's done, enter your credit card information or PayPal and click complete order. Now be patient because that's gonna send you to this page here where it's gonna be preparing your download. Once again, this could take up to a few minutes, so just be patient. Once that's done loading, here's your download link. Click on the download link and this will start your download. If for some reason you have an issue, go to your email and we will send you another copy with your receipt. Click on the blue link and that will take you back to the 840 Transitions Pack download link. So make sure you go and find where you downloaded the transition pack. Go ahead and unzip the file. Once unzipped, go ahead and open Premiere Pro and create a new project. Once you create a new project, you're going to bring in your footage you'd like to use the transitions on. Make sure you double check what resolution your footage is. I'm on a Mac, so you can check the resolution under dimensions here, and then bring that footage into Premiere. At this point, go ahead and edit your footage. When you're happy with your edit and ready to use the transitions, double check the resolution in your sequence settings, then click OK. Now we're going to find where we saved our 840 Transitions Premiere Pro pack. From here, we're going to select the project file that matches our sequence settings. For this example, it's 1920 by 1080. Select that project file and drag it into your project. Make sure you select Import Entire Project. Now this next part might seem weird, but since these transitions were created on a different computer, we're going to have to reconnect the media. But don't worry, it's super easy. You're going to click on this first clip called Glitch 01. Then click Locate. Make sure you click on Display Only Exact Name Matches. This is going to help eliminate other files that can be confusing. Navigate to where you saved the transitions pack. The last path bar at the top will show you the files you need to look in. Click on 840 Transitions Premiere. Then click Footage. Then click Audio. Then click 30 Glitch Sound Effects Pack and then click Glitch 01. Click OK. This will automatically link the rest of the files, and there you have it. Everything is imported correctly and ready to use. So from here, double click on an effect and then drag it into a new window. Once you do this, click on View by Thumbnail and this will give you the previews of the effects. You can scroll through each effect and see what it looks like before you drag it onto your footage. But before you do that, make sure that you deselect V1 on the left of your timeline. This is going to disable the preview and allow you to drag in only the effects. Make sure you do this. This is a key component to making this work. When you find an effect you like, drag it into your timeline. Make sure you line up the transition with the cut in your footage. If you don't do that, it will not work. Line up that cut and play the effect. If you don't like that effect, don't worry. Go back to the effects, find a new one, drag it into a new window, and repeat the process. Easy as that. And once you're done with that, set your in and out point, your resolution, where you would like to save it, and then export. And there you have it, 840 Premiere Pro transitions right at your fingertips.